Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Mukesh's Tech Space. If you are new here, I post video tutorials on AWS, Azure, LightCell, WordPress hosting, and other easy to set up and use hosting tools and services. I also post videos on WordPress tips and tricks, mostly for beginning developers. Uh, so if you are interested in that type of content, please consider subscribing to this channel. I'm doing this video based on a user suggestion. In, in some past tutorials on this channel, we've walked through setting up a remote database service, once using the LightCell database service and another video on using the Amazon RDS service. In both of those videos, we moved the WordPress database, which is by default a locally installed MySQL database, to that remote database uh, service. The question from the user was how to connect the PHP MyAdmin tool to the remote database. Uh, by default, PHP MyAdmin is configured to only connect to the locally installed MySQL database. And, um, and so in this video, I will walk you through on how to reconfigure PHP MyAdmin to connect to that remote database service. Um, if you aren't aware of PHP MyAdmin, I'll put some links down in the description below for you to learn about it. But basically, it is a database administration tool. Um, it's a web-based tool that connects to your MySQL database. You can perform various activities on your database tables. And uh, it is a very handy tool for anyone running a website similar to WordPress or any other uh, backend application based website. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to get started, log into your LightCell dashboard. Uh, if you already have a WordPress instance in LightCell using the Bitnami Blueprint, or if you have a LAMP-based uh, instance, again, a Bitnami uh, Blueprint, then PHP MyAdmin is already installed on both of those Blueprints. If you don't have these instances, then I would suggest go ahead and click on uh, Create Instance. And down in the Blueprint section, Either pick the WordPress instance if you intend to run WordPress as well as PHP MyAdmin on the server, or uh, start with a LAMP-based instance if you um, don't want to run PHP MyAdmin on the same server as your website. Um, if you want me to show you how to install PHP MyAdmin from scratch on a vanilla Ubuntu server, please uh, comment down in the comments below and I may make that video in the future, but this route will be the quickest way of getting PHP MyAdmin running and configuring it to the remote database. So the other thing that you should have is a remote database. So here I have a database on the LightCell platform. This is the LightCell database service. You can also have the Amazon um, AWS RDS uh, service, which will be in the AWS side of things. Uh, and I have videos on how to set that up and I will link them down in the description below or in the card above. But that video walks you through on setting up an Amazon RDS, moving your database over and connecting to that from your WordPress site. Um, I have also made a video uh, on setting up the LightCell database service as well when it first came out. So go ahead and check out both of those videos if you haven't already, but uh, make sure you have a remote database service. So to get started, we will first need to SSH into our instance. And we're going to do that using Bitwise SSH client. If you um, have seen my previous videos, I've mentioned uh, that that is one of my preferred SSH clients. There are others out there. Putty is probably the most popular one and several others, but the video tutorial here I will do is based on Bitwise. So let's go ahead and start up the Bitwise client and we will type in the IP address of 
my server. Okay. And the username for uh, the LAMP or the WordPress uh, install would be Bitnami. And now we will go over to the client key manager and import our light cell keys. And you, if you haven't downloaded them, those are available in your account. And then if you click on SSH keys, based on the regions that you have uh, services in, you can download that key. My light cell instance is in the Virginia US East one. So I will have downloaded this key. So I already have that downloaded and I, all I need to do is import that. So click on import and all files, here's my key, import that. And then let's go ahead and um, so one of the things that the Bitnami uh, flavored instances, either the LAMP or the WordPress, is that when they install PHP MyAdmin, they secure it by being able to only access that application from the local host or from the IP address 127.0.0.1. So it's not a publicly available application, and that's mostly for security reasons. So what we have to do in our SSH client is use a feature called SSH tunneling, and we will configure that right here. So click on the tab C2S, and then click on add. And then here you will have, keep that the same, the list, uh, listen port. Uh, commonly people put 8888 here, and then the destination would be localhost, and the destination port will be 80. Now, if your server has port 80 disabled, or if you've been forwarding your port 80 to um, 443 HTTPS, then make sure that's 443. But uh, commonly, you can just put that, leave that as port 80. So once that's configured, um, go ahead and log in to your server. So here we go. We are now logged into our server. If you open up a new tab and access uh, 127.0.0 PHP My Admin, this should now load up PHP My Admin. Now, by, by default, this is always connecting to your local MySQL uh, database service that's installed on your uh, WordPress or LAMP server. So, what we're going to do is change this so that it will allow us to connect to the remote database service um, as well as your local host service. So you can pick between which server you want to connect to. So to do that, let's first get the endpoint URL for our remote database. So back in the LightCell dashboard, click on Home, Databases, click on your database, and you'll follow these similar steps of going into the AWS um, control panel or console and finding the RDS service and getting the endpoint URL. So what we need is this endpoint URL. This is the public available URL for your uh, database. So you will copy this. And the next thing we'll do is modify PHP my admins uh, configuration file. So SSH into your server and you will go to stack. So in, in my case here, I have the WordPress, uh, oh sorry, I have the LAMP base install. So um, all the applications are installed in this stack folder. In terms of WordPress, I believe uh, it will be installed inside the apps folder. There would be a folder called PHP My Admin within the apps folder. So here, if we do ls, we will see there's PHP my admin. So CD into that. And now when you list this out, you will see a lot of files. This is your PHP application or PHP my admin application. And the file that we're interested in is this config.inc.php file. So, so let's open up that file for modification. So sudo config.inc.php 
So in this file, you will scroll down to the beginning of where it just says servers configuration. And then we will copy. So the first configuration is obviously already there. This configuration right here uh, connects to the local MySQL database service. So we need to copy the same configuration and create a separate second configuration to connect to the remote Amazon or remote light cell database or in uh, Amazon RDS database. So there's about 11 lines here from this comment all the way down to here that we want to copy and paste. So we'll start with a command 11YY. So this will copy the 11 lines below. And right here, we will insert those 11 lines. So just hit P and that will have inserted and made a copy of the configuration right here. So we can name this our remote server. So let's remove first and say remote server, and then uh, leave everything the same. The only change that we'll do is this host. So this host from 127.0.0.1, we will mo modify that with the endpoint that we have for our light cell database. So let's copy that, paste that right here. So let's actually made a mistake there. Uh, move it over one cursor. There we go. Okay, so we have, I think I may not have copied the entire thing. So let's see, I think I'm missing the beginning of this endpoint LS. So let's do that. Okay, so now we have that configured correctly. Let's go ahead and save the file. And we probably need to uh, restart the Apache server. I'm not really sure if we do or not, but it is probably a good idea to just restart um, Apache. So sudo slash opt slash bitnami and the control script dot sh restart Apache. And I'll have all these uh, scripts and commands available in my blog post on the webhostingforbeginners.net site. So you can copy them from there. And we have Apache has been restarted. So if we come back to our PHP my admin and reload, we should now have an additional dropdown that has uh, the different servers that we've configured. So server choice, you can pick the local host or we can pick the remote uh, database uh, service that we just configured. And now if we wanted to log in, we basically need the username, DB master user. Uh, I think that's the default username for all database services in LightCell and then the password. So we can take this password, copy that, come back to phpMyAdmin, DB master user, and paste our password. And we are logged into the uh, remote database. So this is how you can configure your phpMyAdmin to connect to a remote database service, uh, either on the LightCell database service or the Amazon RDS, or if you have a database service anywhere else, DigitalOcean or any other cloud provider, all you need is the RDS endpoint URL and modify the phpMyAdmin config file and you should be good to go. So if you did find this video useful, give it a thumbs up, share it with others. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. And as I've already mentioned, if you want to me to show you how to install PHP MyAdmin from scratch, 
on a uh, uh, vanilla Ubuntu server, let me know and I will try to do that video as well. But this should be the easiest way for you to get started uh, with your PHP and MyAdmin connecting to a remote database. So until the next video, take care.